Welcome back to the Facebook Live celebration of Harry's 75th birthday, believe it or not, here on December 7th. And one of the things that Harry really embodied was it's all about family. He, he was so involved in so many things, obviously, that involved his family. And as part of that, one of the amazing families that has come around because of that is the Gillis family. And I'd like to introduce the Gillis family right now. Uh, and we are talking to Shirley, yes. and Heather, and Caitlin. Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? We're great. Yes, we are. Thanks so much for joining us today. And uh, what's so special about you guys is the endurance and the commitment you put behind what has become just a phenomenal event, that being the Harry Chapin Run for Hunger. Against hunger, please. Against right. hunger, thank yeah, you. Right. <laughs> Your English teacher is coming out, right? <laughs> Correcting. Good. <laughs> I knew I was going to screw that up. So, <laughs> anyway, that's all right. We want the whole thing out there, yeah. anyhow. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, Shirley, why don't you give us a little bit of background? How this all got started? I'm sure, like most things, it probably had some fits and starts getting it off the ground and. Tell us it's, how it all got it started, started on a Sunday in a Methodist church in Croton when one of the people got up and said, I think we should have a walk or a run. And people in Croton picked that up and lo and behold, we have the Harry Chapin Memorial Run Against Hunger. That happened to be the same summer that Harry died. And so uh, decided to name the run against for Harry. And, uh, and that's how it worked out. The, a man that worked with him, in, he lived in Croton, uh, said he would give us our shirts about, with Harry's name on it if we named the hair run against him. And of course, we were delighted to be able to do that and uh, did. And it's been going on now for 38 years. I think and that's 38, right. yes. Right. And you've been involved pretty much from day one, right? Yes. What, yep. So what is it? Why, what drives you to keep doing this, the endurance? Because I think that's what so many people are always amazed by is folks who just hang in there and hang tough. And, you know, that's the hard part. The well, one thing, this is a total family uh, time. Everybody in my family, my husband was the leader of the run, and we all worked on the run. So it was it was a great feeling for that. And uh, we loved the the feeling that you get when the town comes together and uh, uh, makes a success. And I, I also wanted to, to add in there is I think it's the response that we get from the community and how everybody is just so thrilled to participate and to do something good that makes a difference, you know? Right. So, <clears throat> we are very thrilled to offer our time and do things and you know it's a personal pleasure to be able to do that and it's also something that we are helping and reaching out with the community and knowing that we're making a, a little bit of difference in somebody else's life. So. Right. You mentioned Walt. Um, tell us a little bit about Walt. I know he was really one of the steam engines behind this really getting off the ground. He was a very good organizer, and he was very good at knowing what would work. He wouldn't take no for an answer <laughs> either. <laughs> that was a Harry Chapin trait, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Mike is always saying that that if the guy was looking, no, me, he wasn't really going to do it, he would say, this is for the kids. This is for the kids that are hungry. And they had to do it. So he was very successful getting all kinds of things done for the run. So, and he, he loved it too, you know. Right. And one of the things that was so pleasurable this year, that at the end, when we gave out our, our money to the groups that we give it to, each group stood up and said what they do with the money. And it just, you know, food banks and all the, uh, the one that has the or orphanage in Mozambique and the Haiti thing. And to hear all the th things that this money goes to in the world, make the world a better place it just i just couldn't believe you know it just made your heart feel good 
I mean, this money that we raise also helps to self-sustain them and be able to make themselves feel good. They're, they're not just getting money and supported by us, but they're helping themselves become independent and being able to sustain their own livelihood. And, that, you know, that makes a big difference. Yeah. Well, that must be an amazing feeling that from your little spot in the world, you have yeah. all this reach and impact with people that you may never meet. Exactly. That's right. And one of the things that we're reaching out to this year is the Puerto Rican uh, crisis that's been going on. And we're taking some of our money and donating it to a worthy cause that would deal with food down there. And part of that money came from a special uh, a thing this year from the Harry Chapin Foundation that could help us do that with Puerto Rico. So that that's was awesome. Really, yeah, it was awesome. Awesome, right. awesome. Well, guys, I really appreciate all, appreciate all the time you spent with us here. We're, we're going to move on to talk to a few more people that got uh, inspiring stories. But I got to tell you, hearing what you guys have done over this long period of time yeah. is just so amazing. <clears throat> Tell everybody, everybody out there, come to the run. <laughs> and I just want to say, there's one particular uh, Croton person who has every year oh. raised so much money. His name is Sam Colombo, and he is a... Um, I don't know. Uh, he has a disability, but yet he has reached out to so many Croton he, people he and really, raised over really 100000 maybe half of that. So That's great. Because it takes it takes everybody, everybody right? Yep. Everybody can make right. a difference, absolutely. Yeah. So, anyways, thanks so much for all your time, uh, you. Shirley, Heather, Caitlin. Thank you. Really appreciate we appreciate it. it. And uh, everybody, everybody, be looking out for the next Harry Chapin Memorial Run Against Hunger. Did I get it right? Yes. Get it right. Yay! Yay! <laughs> And uh, we have a lot more. So hopefully you guys can also stay tuned on Facebook here uh, after you get off the line and uh, be hearing about another great organization that yes. Harry's group has um, yeah. supported. Okay. What but Harry you. started. Uh, Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Look at this. I love this.